Hello, here we are again with another global Stampin' Up! vlog hop. So this is a video hop linking in the description below. The first link will be to the next person in our hop today. Our theme today is home decor, so I'm really looking forward to seeing all the projects in today's hop. So let's get down onto the table and I will share my project. Today I'm sharing with you a decorated tissue box cover. Having planned today's project, I'm slightly concerned that different markets have different brands of tissues and also come in different sized boxes. Now bo my box today is 11.3 centimeters by 9.9 .9 centimeters by 12 centimeters deep. So in inches, that is four and seven sixteenths by three and seven eighths by four and three quarters. Now, because of the sizings today, I am using the centimeters and millimeters. A blog post will also be going live at the same time, and I will put the link in the description below that will include all the measurements and the measurements for today in inches. With so many sizes and brands throughout the globe, it is impossible for me to give all permutations. I will do another quick video to show you how to customize these yourself. So with my Stampin' Up! trimmer, I'm going to open the arm ready for cutting, as I will need the measurements over this side as well. I need three full pieces of cardstock today. There will be some waste, but they can be used for other projects. So my first one is for the base of my tissue box and will be two identical pieces cutting at 12.3 centimeters and turning and cutting at 22.6. The reasons we need to use fractions of millimetres or fractions of inches is because we need the case to fit snugly round the original size of the box, which we have no control over. So having cut this at 12.3 by 22.6 centimetres, I'm going to score this at 11.5 centimetres and then one centimeter in from the far end. Let me move that over slightly. And so one centimeter in from the far end. Now the Stampin' Up! trimmers do have that measurement on here as well, to the right of the cutting of the scoring blade. So that's those two. So I will have one piece that looks like so. And just bend those roughly so you can see how that's going to be shaped. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the next piece. We've grown strong together, you know it's all because Everybody plays a part in doing what we love And that's the two pieces. With my third piece of cardstock, I'm going to cut, it's nearly a square, but I'm just going to cut this way first, and I'm going to cut at 15.2 centimetres. This is waste, but this, these are all useful for other projects. And then turn and cut at 16.6. So this is the 16 and a half, and we're just gonna go one millimeter to the left of that. Now this is the lid of our box, and we're gonna score at two and a half centimeters on all four sides. So I'm gonna mark that on here, and this is again on this side of my, my trimmer. And that's all our scoring for today. All of these edges are going to be burnished with a bone folder, like so, and set to one side. And then the sides here, I will burnish those as well to make nice crisp edges. These two pieces will now be joined together and form the casing round the sides of my box. Of. 
taking my take my pick tool and I'm going to remove the tape from here and place the second one along the edge of that fold but not over the fold the fold will be going round the sides of my box like so and then here with the last one if you remove the tape from the the edge then keeping the side edges perfectly straight you will be able to just close that one and they will be in the correct place so this is the sleeve that is now going to go around the outside of my box like so with the lid of my box finished I'll take my paper snips and snip up each of these score lines to the next line going across Anything is possible. It started with a dream Our passion made a difference and built a family We've grown strong together you know it's all So with those pieces cut we're going to taper these tabs very slightly Think of it as being the shape of a flower pot. It helps you understand the process of tapering the edges. We will be applying adhesive on here, on the four corners. and tucking this in neatly to provide a nice square corner. So that's my piece of the lid prepared. However, with the tissue box here, we need to cut the opening in the center. All of my layers are half a centimeter, so that's five millimeters shorter than the size I've used previously. So with inches, you would come down quarter of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch. The choice is yours depending on the depth you require. So my middle layer has been cut at 11.1 centimetres by 7 centimetres and then the top layer has been cut at 10.6 by 9.2. Depending on how you wish to decorate this could also be a piece of designer series paper and I'll show you some more samples at the end of the video. So these two pieces can be layered together leaving the small border around the sides. Now our next objective is to cut the hole in here the same as we do underneath and to go through it to go over the top of the box. It isn't possible to cut through all three layers at one time with the thinlet dies. So I'm going to show you how we're going to tackle. Here I'm using my laying oval framelit dies and I'm going to be using the solid image to cut the circle. So I will find the nearest size to my tissue box, but slightly smaller. We don't want to be able to see any of the tissue boxes because they come in all different colors and we don't want to see the box underneath. So this is the size I'm going to be using. So having stuck those two together, I'm going to take a moment to get this exactly into the center of my piece of card. It started with a dream. Our passion made a difference built a family we've grown strong together you know it's all now with this piece cut out it's going to make it easier now to get on the next layer you will need an even board around the outside and then we're going to mark that circle with a propelling pencil propelling pencils are always sharp and give a really good line so I'm now going to place this in the center here on my pencil line. I just want to show you too that, that this size that I'm using today will actually be perfect for the width of your mat. 
So this is now ready to build. So we will take our Tombow adhesive onto the corner and fold those in as I explained earlier to make a nice crisp square corner and hold that a few sec seconds until the Tombow adheres fully. I like to do the opposite corners first. So now just to check for size, I'm just gonna check those corners and tuck these ones in manually and check that everything is fitting nicely for you. So that is the snugness of my box. It's not gaping and it's gonna fit nicely. Then we return it to the box again for size, and there's our tissues. So I like to now adhere this down to the box. If you like to then slide it out and use a bone folder, you can actually press on the inside of these to make that Tombow seal nicely. And now our cover is completed. And whilst it looks very plain at the moment, it is ready for us to decorate. So for the strips around the top of my box here, I have two pieces of the middle layer at 11.1 by two centimeters deep and two pieces for the sides at nine and a half by two centimeters. And then for the DSP layer or the top layer, it's 10 and a half centimetres by one and a half twice and nine centimetres by one and a half twice. All of those measurements being half a centimetre smaller than the layer before. So here are my four layers adhered together and we'll now place those on the box. And there we have our first layers in place. For the decoration on this tissue box, I am coordinating it with one of my bedrooms for visitors. I'm using these delicate poppies from the Painted Poppies stamp set, and I'm going to be stamping those in black memento ink. To keep the poppy theme coming through, I'm going to just hold this over here to see whether I like the effect of the poppies around the lid, which I think I do. So I'm going to come around the edges here, mitering this into the corner. And there is the top of my box and I'm pleased with how that's turned out. I'm going to show you first how I'm going to reinforce this center piece. So I'm going to use exactly the same die that I used for the center and I'm also going to use the one that's slightly bigger. I'm going to die cut both of these together 
servants and built a family. We've grown strong together, you know it's all because everybody plays a part in doing what we love. And here is our rim to go around the edge, in there like so. So I'm going to attach that one, holding this in my tweezers and just gently applying some Tombow around the outside edge. Pretty sure that's in a nice shape. That's just going to help to reinforce as you pull the tissues out that will reinforce that edge. So with my top of my box adhered down, the panels I stamped earlier have been matted together and applied to the sides of my box, like so. We're now ready to think about the sentiment that's going to go on the box here. I've chosen to use the Timeless Tropical stamp set and using the Rest and Relax You Deserve It sentiment, as these can be placed in the bedrooms. Here I've pre-cut some layers from the colours that I've been using today and I'm going to ink up the sentiment to stamp in the middle of my pre-cut oval. And I've used the Memento Black ink again. So we're now going to apply stamp and dimensionals to the back of the layers. Sure that that's in the center and nice and straight and here is my finished project as promised the next two screens will show you first of all the metric cutting diagram and then followed by the imperial cutting diagram i hope you've enjoyed my project today and look forward to clicking in the description below to see the link to the next person in today's global su vlog hop thanks again for joining us today and i hope you enjoy the rest of your hop around our home decor projects today. Thanks again.